Capricorns. So this is going to be for the 28th until the 30th. Let's get straight into it. Let's close the month off with some really positive energy. Any information you need will be listed in the description. So just check there and let's start with the healing mantra deck. And then I'm going to break off into a spread. We're going to do something a little bit more proactive or productive, I should say, today. Get some answers here. Capricorns for November 20th through the 30th. What's the healing mantra they need to hear for this time frame from the spirit guides? Bringing in positive energy. So we have unhooking the past. The back of this card reads, there's nothing to regret when I learn from my past. Okay, so with this card coming up, I actually got this for, I believe, maybe Taurus. I'm not sure, but with the unhooking, unhooking the past card, excuse me, this is drawing attention to, this is drawing attention to, for one, that there's nothing for you to necessarily hold on to when it comes to the past. Once you understand that your past is just experiences that bring you closer to wisdom, understanding. Um, unlocking certain keys to life that we actually came here for. Okay. The universe is a university and it's a school of, of, of life lessons that teach us valuable, valuable keys, I should say. And once you have that understanding, you're able to unhook from the past or essentially not be held back, I should say, by your experiences and feel victim to them. Spirit is also emphasizing how like some of you may be operating out of more so like trauma responses to things that you've gone through. So for my singles, this could play out as you, you know, being very defensive and like only online dating, only dating people on social media and not taking it any further than that because you're scared of that closeness aspect. You're scared of like closely connecting with someone because of a recent divorce or a, a breakup where it consisted of you guys living with each other long term or something. Some of you could be comfortable with like a third party situation because of the fact that you may have been you know, more so tied up into something too serious. And now you're looking for something that may be just convenient. But don't let your past be the blueprint for the future. Because then at that point, you haven't learned from your experiences and you'll keep repeating the same cycles until you do. That's when you have, you know, repeats of the same type of people coming into your life where they have, you know, a different face, but same energy. Now, first card, this is going to represent present energy. I have the three of swords. So this is coming to terms with the fact that someone or something is a disappointment here. You realize that you can't expect nothing more, nothing less from a particular individual after they've put you through multiple points of disappointment. Okay, understand that this three of swords, it's three swords within this heart. Meaning that this isn't the first instance of this person putting you through things. This is probably just the third strike and, you know, they're out. Or, you know, this is just the most painful experience you've went through with them. I'm hearing also, like, some of you are interested in someone who has some serious trauma, if this is not you, where it's like it's breaking your heart because you really want to be with this person, but they haven't they haven't gotten to a point to where they're op they're open to opening their heart space for you fully. And for others of you, it's you. It's breaking your heart that you would love to interact with somebody, deal with somebody, but you can't forgive them or you're just not open. You wanted something to turn out differently with something, but it seems like Especially with like a certain opportunity here. Huh. But you could be noticing that like just the something with that opportunity could be a disappointment if you were to take it up. 
It could be like a job that you're trying to acquire. And then you notice that there's just a lot of hidden things about it that you, you know, wouldn't have liked, even though on the outside, on the surface, you really did feel like that was the opportunity for you. But moving deeper into this, the overall theme with the devil card, um, this is actually the card for Capricorn. So you guys are going to be more so focused on yourself, but this is more so trying to conquer like the lower vibrations that kind of sweep over us. So with the devil card, this is just like every zodiac sign you have the, you know, higher vibing archetypes and then you have the lower vibing archetypes. And this is just the lower vibing archetype. So with this energy, this is trying to overcome the lower vibrations that you can sometimes tap into, which is doubt, self-doubt, um, you know, casual sex, where it just becomes more so like a sexual connection in a sexual time. Um, topics of abuse, substance abuse, or like literal abuse could be coming up during this time frame. This is realizing where like certain things about yourself could change, especially if it's trauma reactions here, um, in order for you to be released from like this, again, this negative captivating energy, but what's hidden below the surface. I have the five of cups, so this could be regret. This could be fixation on things that you necessarily can't change. Um, there's things that, oh, let me get it together. I'm getting tongue tied. This could be the energy also of this could be the energy of like, I don't know, feeling bad that something didn't play out a different way when again. This is going back to the unhooking the past card. And it's so funny that these two cards are like just right up under each other. Once you understand that the the way things kind of play out is the way it's supposed to, you release the need of feeling guilty for what didn't play out correctly in the past, what didn't happen a certain way, because you understand that everything is divinely guided. And with this card, there's still opportunity for more, even while you being, even while you're in a space of being emotionally distraught or hurt, how certain things didn't play out a way, you still have two cups behind you in this five of cups, symbolizing more opportunity. Now, advice for you with the Ace of Pentacles, and this Ace of Pentacles energy has been showing up a lot in these readings in the advice position as well. But with the Ace of Pentacles here, there needs to be a focus on stability financially, uh, saving your coins, putting money away. I'm hearing um, for my Capricorns who don't have a job right now, searching for a job, focusing your energy on that. You may more have, you may have more favorable energy during this time frame. Excuse me. Um, This is striving for stability in your relationships, especially if you're sick and tired of the same old, same old. Okay, if you're dealing with somebody who doesn't have the same goals as you, doesn't want the same things as you, kick them to the curb. Okay, this is focusing on the practical things. Now, the challenge that may come up, I do have the Ace of Cups in reverse. So the challenge may be... Someone being very emotionally disconnected from you. It's like they seem very heartless, like just not here at all in terms of wanting to express their emotions, wanting to uh, put their feelings out there on the line when it when it comes to connecting with you. The challenge could also be falling completely out of love with someone. This could be the person you have children with, uh, a toxic ex, whoever this is. It's like, it's really hard for you to say, okay, I hate this person's guts. I'm done with them completely because a piece of you still loves them. And that's what unconditional love is, loving somebody even when you're not with them. But understanding that you do have to separate from anything that's toxic, you know, not still feeling like you have to go back, but understanding that, you know, there's still love deep down.
But what I see for the outcome in terms of what's ahead with the death card, um, no, not death, <laughs> but changes that are going to bring in new beginnings. OK, and these changes may more so consist of what's going on within your own energy. You could be shedding a lot of just destructive thought processes or. Hmm. It just feels like you're making essential changes to the way that you either pay attention to things or the way that you do things. And this is going to trigger like new beginnings for you, essentially. Yeah, especially when it comes to like motherhood or when it comes to money as well. This feels like also that like Pluto and Capricorn type energy. Changes around like finances and money, but I'm going to stop right here. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed. Thumbs it up and subscribe if you did. And I will see you later.